Okay, hi guys. So, um, I think the ferry took off, or rather, like it set off um, around 15 minutes earlier because I realized that this ferry doesn't have as many people as the one I took at 4 30 in the other direction, of course. Mm, probably because most people don't do day trips or most people don't take the night ferry. But um, I just want to say some stuff about the um, experience in Estonia. I think like overall, I got to see some like um, Russian influence or like not really like influence but more like blending with the Estonians um, and also other nationalities as well. Like when I went to the McDonald's, they had like Latvian and Lithuanian in the um, languages as well. So. I found it quite interesting, um, but they didn't have Finnish, I believe. I think it was like very towards the Baltic side. So you can see like even though they are like next to each other, well, um, two hour ferry, but effectively next to each other without the sea gap, right? Um, there is a bit of a difference in terms of like who they cater to also. Of course there's always English, but like you can't really use that as a gauge for anything these days. Um, yeah, aside from that, I think I expected a little bit more um, in their transport system. I mean, I also kind of expect a bit more for fi the Finnish side. But then um, I feel like I don't know when I when I went to Finland when I reached Finland like this mo this morning. Yeah, so this morning. Um, I was like, this is actually pretty cool, they have like the underground trains and they have uh, trams and all that. But then, on the other hand, like, Estonia has all on the ground, uh, which is like, like with the cars, right, okay, so, but then the trams have like the wire thing attached to them, the buses don't, and then there's another kind of like train, I'm not super familiar also, but they have like three different colours on the book on Google Maps. One is like red, one is blue, one is green. I only took the red and green ones. So I have no clue what is the blue one also. Um, I think it's like the triple digit one. But okay, that aside, I think like the intervals for each like bus or train and what or whatnot was like quite long and Google Maps wasn't really helpful. So I believe they probably use an app or something, but I just didn't bother to download it. Uh, although it could have been better because like I think based on the chart that because some of them have the electronic charts which you can see like okay this bus is arriving in like 3 minutes or something but um, sometimes like it takes longer than expected so it's not really that accurate and also the intervals are like 20 minutes or something for some of the buses which I was quite surprised because I just wanted to get to the city centre but then um, I ended up taking like quite a huge round because I couldn't be bothered to wait for like the right bus so in the end um, when I got there I also couldn't do much and then oh my god yeah public transport ends quite early or something I'm not really sure if it's just during the weekends because today is Saturday but um, not sure if they do it on the weekdays or so but that's a bit inconvenient, I suppose. But I'm not, I'm not really sure because I'm only literally there for like three and a half hours. So who am I to judge, right? So it's okay. Maybe another time. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if I will be going for an Estonian con. But yeah, maybe if I ever get a chance to visit there again, then you know we'll figure things out. But yeah, my experience today wasn't too great. I think like I prefer Finland much more. Although I got to practice a little bit of Russian, but then the only time I did it like proper was like I didn't film it. So I, I told the person that oh um, I was buying like a bunch of different newspapers, but then one of them she counted one only, and then I said like oh at the other bar like it's like two right. And then I said thank you, and then she said like you're welcome in Russian. But I feel like that was still like very simple. I didn't really 
use a lot of complex sentences per se. Like I was going to do it, but then firstly it was like I believe the shops closed like much earlier. So by right, if I wanted to like go around and buy stuff in Russian, then I should have probably done it at a much earlier timing. But you know, FMC and all that. So yeah, basically schedule issue. But never mind. Also, I realized like my phone doesn't really have a lot of um, a lot of storage, despite clearing all those. But then you know, because I vlog like quite a huge part of today, I deleted like a lot already of the footage earlier. But then, yeah, the timer is like literally running down right now. So I need to kind of upload it unlisted onto YouTube first, and then see what I can do later, so that I can get up my storage space. It's kind of inconvenient, but. It has got to do for now, so um, I guess I'll see you back in the hotel. Or I'm really tired already, so oh, yeah, one last thing. So, the thing is, when I get back to Finland, it'll be like 12 30 already, and that side has public transport, so like that's the plus point. I, I don't know what else to say, like Estonia, please. Okay, but uh, yeah, Finland is not bad.